Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Jurassic World Evolution. This is episode 14, and this start may look familiar, because we're going to try this jump again. I've adjusted the hill a little bit. I don't think that was enough airtime. It has to be 5 seconds over the course of 20 seconds. Yeah, I just don't think this hill is steep enough, actually. And I can't make it steeper, because you can't just make, like, a drop. Also, if you ever wonder why I do generally start on a different island from the current one, it's because, obviously, there's no real way to pause this game. So... This way I can kind of keep track of this stuff before switching over to our main objective. And Elapina is proving to be a tough nut to crack. Especially since when we switch over there, there was a storm beginning when I saved, so there's probably going to be some nasty weather and some dinosaurs escaping. But you can see I've got some stuff to sell. I don't know why I sold that. I should have just kept it. Most of my DNA is maxed out now. So if we go over here, we can see pretty much, you know, everything is 100% or close to it. So everything will live fairly long. So that Sintausaurus is still proving difficult, even though there's only two things that come from that dig site. It's just a shame that we have so little space on Elpina, so we can't really make use of all these new species we have. It's kind of disappointing to have one of the last islands be so limiting, but again, they wanted to make it more difficult. Alright, so I think we're ready. Oh yeah, and I built a, a gyro station in this big enclosure. It seemed like, you know, kind of a no-brainer. And I had to adjust the fence, which is why I didn't build one originally. I remember I was like, oh, I can't find a spot to put it, so I put it in the other one. But uh, let's head over to Elapina. We still haven't even got one of the missions to trigger yet. Trying to get that security contract, which is supposed to be requiring very little reputation, but I haven't actually been completing any missions. Though I should have it nearly unlocked, because even before I switched islands back to the other one, Oh yeah, that's that's a good thing you want to see when you're coming back to your island. A twister forming. Uh, please don't take away control from me when there's a twister coming. Alright, first things first, hit the emergency shelters. Yep, that is very much a twister. Well, it doesn't seem to be able to destroy buildings like they could in Operation Genesis, so that's good. Also, there's like nothing important over there. I'd be much more worried if it hit this zone over here, but over there it's just gonna damage some buildings. And take out my power. But again, that should be a problem. These fences are electric. Oh no, wait, these fences aren't electric. The T-Rex one is just concrete, so I don't have to worry about anything there. But yeah, there's nothing I can really do about this. I don't even know if a storm defense station will do anything. You know, kind of like, cause the storm to veer around it. But while that's destroying my island, let's get a contract. Not from you, though. Hello! New contract time! Woohoo! Okay, well that's a stupid one, because Polacanthus is not a match for a T-Rex without a bunch of genetic mods. sell all this. We're going to need the money after this limited park shut down because of this tornado. Alright, well... I'm going to have to manually turn the power back on. Sound familiar? Repair 
I guess this is the problem. Oh, I hear something trying to break out. This is the problem with having, like, a singular power line. If one of these pylons goes down, the whole power system goes down. Uh, what do you want to bet it's not the T-Rex that broke out? Well, I guess we'll find out, because we have to go this way anyway. Oh, it is the T-Rex. Hello. Receiving asset report. You know, there's actually an achievement for taking a photo of a carnivore eating a guest. Does this Jeep look different? Did I change this? Oh, this is the default. That's why. Oh, I got an achievement for, I think, just driving a bunch. Don't worry, I'm here to rescue you. And I'm totally not just going to watch you die. Yep, yeah, we'll submit that. That's two achievements. Can't wait to see that. I can't actually get any closer. Okay, well. Let's get you. Nope, not transport. I need ACU. Understood. Take care of that. So yeah, usually the T-Rex, when it gets out, because there's a sabotage event where all the gates open, and that's the only time I've really seen a T-Rex get out, it generally just kind of wanders around. Requesting repair. And while we're at it, Somebody over here's got a disease. Oh man, these these hills here. They are quite something. It's really weird that you can't even drive through the jungle. It counts as a solid obstacle. I think one should be enough for a packy. No, oh, gonna need to hit him with another one. God damn. Things do not have good range. Which makes sense because they're compressed air rifles, basically. Really, ticks? I don't really think that ticks could be a major problem for dinosaurs. Alright, so the T-Rex should be... Oops. In here. Oh, this was the Camarasaurus. Right. I still had one left that I had to... Alright, Rexella, you run back into containment. I had one more because it wouldn't fit into this enclosure. I remember now. Right. I also kind of wanted to test if I could just, again, fence this area off without having to build a full fence, because that would be a lot better here, but I think the dinosaurs might still be able to just walk around. But it's worth a shot. You know, we'll just try dropping a dinosaur in there and see what happens. Asset being transported. So that's a lot easier than having to try to, like, follow the edges of the buildable area and make a janky-ass fence. Just have a nice natural fence of this mountain. Transportation underway. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for... Okay. So, how close are we to this mission? Uh, 
Not that close. Probably would have been easier to go for... Hmm... No, okay, they all look like they're about the same exact spot. Now give me a contract that isn't... I know you've handled work like this in the past, so this contract should be right up your alley. Alright. So we have money now. And what am I going to put in my other enclosure? We've got options. Um, what do I have out? Torosaurus and Pachycephalosaurus, right? Also probably going to want another Torosaur in case one of these dies. Since they are not very fond of being alone. Torosaur. Eh, they're expensive, but not too bad. Okay, so let's see. I have two enclosure areas to fill. Um, we could do Tintosaurus. Haven't made any of those yet. We could do our new Stiggy Malak. Um, but I'm guessing that, like the Pachycephalosaurus, they are not very fond of neighbors. Whereas the Sintau is probably alright. Uh, Polacanthus. Hmm. We've got a lot of kind of the same families of dinosaur. A lot of Stegosaurs and Ankylosaurs and Ceratopsians. I could go Chasmosaurus, I guess. They're a bit different. Put them in the other enclosure. Let's see. Coastal is the one I unlocked for getting five stars on the other island. It's, uh, I think it's like a blackish blue color for some of them. It makes the T-Rex look really nice. Let's see, that cranks the rating up, as well as, well, it's the resilience, but not the lifespan. I feel like lifespan is, for me, the really the only thing I'm concerned about adding. Because everything else is basically just things that make it better at surviving combat with other dinosaurs. Okay. And this is, again, I don't know how many of these I need for a herd, so just have to wait and see until I've made one. Hmm. I'm just kind of considering what I'm going to do over here for another enclosure. Because I'm thinking maybe I could put the Indominus in this area give her her own enclosure that she's going to keep trying to break out of. I would have preferred to wait until we had electrified concrete. But then again, the ACU is right there, so if she breaks out, they'll be able to trank her hopefully pretty quickly. And like, we're only at two and a half stars, and I've kind of already filled up a lot of the space available to me. I think it's kind of a waste to have the T-Rex in here, honestly. I mean, she's a good rating, but that's a lot of space for one dinosaur. Alright, might as well send out some expeditions, get some money coming in from there. Let's see if we can get this last bit of Stiggy Malak. Notosaur. So he wants me to build a viewing platform. Is that the tower? Or is yeah. I'm kind of thinking, like, where would I put one of these? Oh. I just realized that this other enclosure has not even got any sort of viewing stuff going on. Alright, so demolish the arcade and move it over. Because, yeah, right now, the T-Rex is still the only thing that is... getting any kind of 
Exposure? Um, where would a good place for this thing be? Kind of none of these, really. This would actually be a better spot for that. So get rid of that. Put this here. And then I can put a... One of these there. Yeah, because right now... This enclosure is basically doing nothing for my guest rating. All I've got for them is the T-Rex by their, you know, account. Okay, so first let's get this Taurosaur out. I knew you'd be able to finish that contract, and my belief in you has been rewarded. Thanks. Looking extra bumpy. Great work getting those buildings constructed. Now to make sure they stay secure. Alright. We still got a ways to go to get the mission from him. But we got two contracts done there. I'd strongly suggest you consider taking this contract. Increase the value of your park to 20 million. All right, well, I don't know how much our park is worth right now. Yo, it's your buddy Isaac. Fine, here. Isaac. I got something for you. I'll and by do your super I mean easy mission. You to do something for me. Sounds good, right? Sell, extract, extract. I've always considered myself a bit of an adventurer and a lot of a luxury hotel fan, huh? Low health. <laughs> so enjoy your time in the dirt. What's your problem? Understood. Oh, water. water. Is essential, and yeah, there's no water in there. Require plenty of it. Why are you not providing for their needs? Thanks, Claire. Who only shows up to scold me. It's just a little bit over there. Which reminds me, I should put some water over here too, since no matter what's going in here, they're gonna need it. I really wish I could do something more with this water to make it interesting. Because it really is just a puddle with bushes in it. Skip that. Forgot we haven't released one of these yet. We've got another three horned dinosaur. This time, a Chasmosaurus. The top of its head features a wide frill, too thin for protection. So it is hypothesized that it's instead used to impress a potential mate. Which on the islands cannot happen. I'm sure. As I was before. Tell that to Hammond. Adding task. Alright, I'm also going to want to add a scheduling upgrade. Accuracy upgrade so they don't take forever to hit what they're trying to shoot. Um, I gotta be careful with the power though, we don't have too much. Oh. Wow. Isla Sorna. If there's a place on Earth. Earth as it currently exists, obviously. If there's a place where dinosaurs look like they should live, then this is it. Yeah, because it went so well all of the last times. Jeez. 
Now I sound like Malcolm. So it sounds like, yeah, Elasorna is the biggest island available. It's kind of funny that we unlocked that before unlocking any of the missions, though. Oh, yeah, we're not even close to the park value he wants. Check this out! A new contract that I think you're really gonna like. Alright, so let's make a... Gallimimus as my test animal to put into that area of the map that I fenced off. Alright, Chasmosaurus. Gonna trank them, because their comfort is going to be ticking down without any... other members of their pack in there. So they have a very limited social range. Three to five. No more, no less. Very structured herd. Okay. He wants me to complete an expedition. Might as well do that, even though it's going to reduce my security rating a little bit. Sell a T-Rex, sell a Draco Rex. Now I wonder what actually determines the park value. Can like can we see this somewhere? Operational hotels. Fun rating is bad. Shopping rating is bad. Okay, so there's the guest count. But yeah, it doesn't look like I can see... Oh, I guess it's probably under finances. Expenses, finance breakdown... Is he park value in here anywhere? I'm just kind of like glancing over it without looking too hard at it. Well, we do have a profit coming in. But you can see it's cost us a fair bit so far. don't see anywhere where it just kind of shows the overall value of the park. Contract limit reached. Yeah, I gotta wait for the expedition to come back. Okay. Um, we'll leave the Gallimimus for a second because it is... Asset collection request received. I don't want to push the, to the population asset. limit in this enclosure over its comfort range for these guys. Attending to feeder supply. So let's add a new ranger team. Can definitely afford it. Make all this money from these. And I could get a... Commencing asset. Indominus now. I can afford her. It's just, you know, making sure we have somewhere to put her. Hotel here. We got a restaurant. Could I jam anything else in here? Delivery has been completed. There we go, just fucking hide an arcade back here. Uh, I can't put it under the monorail, right? I wonder if I can get away with this and still have it actually be useful. Asset transportation complete.
Again, there was like one one part where it actually would connect. Perfect. Okay, so those guys are out, and they are going to be getting upset because they don't have more friends. Hasmosaurus. Confirming task. Release our Gallimimus as well. Request acknowledged. I'm trying to think if there's anything I could put with the T-Rex that wouldn't get killed. Because they do have a high population limit, so you should be able to put them with other stuff. But I think, like, Brachiosaurs and such are the only things large enough that T-Rex won't attack them. Don't think I'm going to be able to fit shopping in here anywhere, though. This area is kind of too thin. I'm trying to think, like, where would I even put another hotel if I had to put one down? There's really not a lot of areas big enough. I could put one, like, right back here. I might have to sort the monorail out a little bit, move it a little bit further back so I can put it along the mountain here, and then have the loop up so that gives me more building space. But it depends what the situation with this enclosure up here is going to be. To collect the asset. Asset to be collected. Asset requiring collection. Financial security is almost as important as personal security. So take this contract. That's kind of a lot of work. Good job with these new viewing galleries. Oh, well, that was quick. The dinosaur is easier to observe, and that increases our ability to maintain security. Not yet. And also, I don't even know what I would do for that one because I don't have any species that are under 75 right now. So, not really much I can do there. In fact, is there anything I don't have maxed out now? Stiggy Malak. Just a little bit more. Marasaurus. I think Polacanthus is not at 100 yet. Alright, so now all I can do is wait for this Gallimimus. It would be handy to have the large power station, because then I could probably get rid of these other two. Unused power 0, complete. unused power 13. I'm already running out of power again. Okay, so these Chasmosaurs should be alright now. Yep, this is plenty big enough for them. Uh, they have a restrictive population, but not too restrictive, so I should be able to put something else in here with them. Yeah, okay, the comfort's ticking back up now that they're all together. 
So let's see, what can I pair you up with? You think I put some Dilophosaurus in with the T-Rex? That they would actually be smart enough not to attack the T-Rex? Because I feel like we could. They got along with the Metriacanthosaurus. But I think a Metricanthosaurus would probably be stupid and try to fight the T-Rex. And it would not win. Hmm... Chunkingasaur we did. Archaeonithomimus I could do. We haven't done those yet. I guess I could do Centausaurus. They're one of the few things I don't have a maxed out genome for, but... Uh, what about Stygimilog? We did just unlock them recently, so it might be nice to make some of those. Though I already have a Pachycephalosaurus and Ceratops combo in the current enclosure, so... It's not the most interesting. Make some Polacanthus. I will make a full three just in case they need that many. And we'll put those over in the other enclosure. Okay. Sell all this garbage. Oh, no, I still need that one. So I guess we should probably also dip over to Sorna just to check out the situation. And I guess at this point I'll be kind of juggling two parks. Also, Three and a half stars. I'm almost at four stars, and I still haven't done one mission. Oh, well, our guest count mission is ticking up, so Your that's good. Your bottom line is looking as good as mine. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. There's no way it'll ever look as good as mine. This contract looks important, unworthy of consideration. All right, that's an easy one. I really would like to get this at least one of these missions done in this video before coming back to this island again. So let's go for Deinonychus. It's, it's a guaranteed carnivore fossil. We didn't get any Stygimalon. And so Notosaur or Polacanthus is complete. Archaeonithomimus is not. And Sintao and Chunkingosaur is at 97. I thought Notosaur wasn't complete either. Myasaur. Notosaur, 100%. I guess not. En route to top up feeder. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put a another feeder over there. And let's see how this works out. I've reported your success up the chain of command. Well done. Hmm, I kind of can't really waste the power on extra Dr. Wu has more for us to do regarding the animals. It's going to get done one way or the other. And I'd prefer if you were part of it. All right. This is going to be a pain. The mission will fail if any mission required dinosaur is killed. So I can't just dump them all into one enclosure and let them kill each other. Can we unlock the gigantosaur Jigan Nautosaurus. Jigan. I always said it as Gigantosaurus, but it's not. It's Jigan Nautosaurus. <laughs> All right. Uh, how does this experiment work out? Good to have you on this one. We've been tasked with incubating, hatching, and housing modified new stock. All right. That seems to be working out. 
Uh, I mean, the health is not great because there's no food or water, but... Let's just do this. It was mostly just an experiment to see if I could use this for what I wanted to use it for. Which it seems it can. That seems like the edges of the map count as barriers. So, I'll have to do something with that. I'll put one of these guys that we have to make in there. Alright, let's cancel these Dilophosaurs for now. So we need Metria, we need T-Rex, and we need you met the objectives Ceratosaur. The victory. I was expecting no less. Isla Pena is a difficult situation in the best of times. And you've handled it with skill. Bone density. Your reputation with the security division has earned you a reward. Already? Wow. Our reputation has really shot up with <laughs> security all of a sudden. Alright, so, incubate him with bone density, and then a ceratosaur as well. Don't know where I'm going to put the ceratosaur. Ceratosaur's actually got a pretty good rating, I didn't realize how high that was. So let's do you two for now. Well, money's looking good now. So what did I unlock for getting the second tier? Electrified concrete. All right. That's handy. So now we have the best enclosure security available. So next we get a large power station. Again, very handy, especially with the limited space on this island. And then Suchomimus. Or Suchomimus. So I guess while we're doing this mission, I can also oops, try to remember what I'm clicking on. Uh, continue on contracts as well. I'll keep this brief. There's a new contract. Review it. We want, no, check that. We need as many people as possible to experience these animals for themselves. Wait. Realize that dinosaurs are part of our world now. So, can it get through this scav? Or is that a no go zone and it can't get through there? Okay, so let's release our experimental carnivores. Warning. Sabotage in progress. Oh, sabotage. That's not nice. Who's down with the sickness? Confirming task. Somehow only three of them got it. Let's release these Polacanthus and hopefully not go over the limit. These guys are still incubating. They're going to take a while. Setting additional task. And we already... I already made some of these last time, right? Is this what got killed by the T-Rex? You rose to the challenge. That takes commitment. All right, there's a large power station. Ah, oh, let's just do this myself so I don't have to schedule a third one. Also, if you tip the Jeep, they kick you out. They're like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna take over. I need you to move.
I'll get them eventually. There's like achievements for getting really long distance dart rifle shots. Eyes on the asset. It looks like I'm getting close. Fuck it. Oh, I got an achievement, nice so I must have done it. Visual on the asset. Get healed. Ah, that frill really compresses inward, doesn't it? <laughs> What's going on here? Looking very surprised. Alright, so large power station is... Understandably, large. How much power does it put out, though? It's a hundred versus eighty. That seems like it's not worth the extra size. This new contract was made for a person of your talents. Not right now, Kajal. People like to feel secure. That's our job. People like to feel secure. Now make these dinosaurs kill each other, would you? I wish I could tell the helicopter to go to a certain spot, though. Because if I want to have him in position for when I release a dinosaur, I have to do it myself. Surely this little... Wow, he really is a lot smaller than T-Rex. I say, he, you're not going to be stupid enough to pick a fight with the T-Rex, are you? Alright, so it wants me to... do a T-Rex as well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a T-Rex, I'm going to sell my current T-Rex, and just keep the new one. It's gonna cost a lot, but it's what I need. Alright, so you will go up here with this poor, unfortunate Gallimimus. So now that I got a path there, I can maybe start building stuff out a little bit. I still think I might like to relocate the monorail a little bit. Just so it's kind of not blocking some of the ideal building spots for stores and stuff. Okay, incoming storm. I don't have a storm defense here, which I should probably do. Um, these things don't really need to be anywhere, like, kind of useful, though, so I want it kind of jammed out of the way. Um, even there is kind of maybe... 
wasteful. I just don't want to wa waste good building space for other stuff. Trank the T-Rex, too. Alright, so do we have a Twister coming in, or just a Storm? Yeah, they are not happy about this situation. And that Polacanthus is probably going to try to break out. I like that this Pachycephalosaurus is just watching. <laughs> like, hey, I guess I'll just break out with you. If you're going to do it anyway. You can't just clip through the fence. That's annoying. Like partners in crime here. Alright, well, I think I'll just leave Rexella under for the moment. And I'll put the Ceratosaur with the Metria and hope that they can en route to pick up the asset. chill. Yeah, see, it's like a, a black and yellow now with the coastal pattern. Hard to tell what any of the skins look like on this island, though. Alright, that storm didn't do any damage, apparently. So let's transport. Polacanthus. Acknowledging asset collection request. Heading to collect the asset. Uh, well, this is not going to be good for my arc right now, but. Route to collect the asset. We're going to sell Rexella. So I don't have to do that later. Which means at the moment, there's nothing actually in that enclosure, but that wreck should be almost done. And then once the mission's done, I can get rid of the rest of them. Which hopefully there isn't another stage to this. Oh shit. I did not actually read the mission, as I'm sure you have pointed out to me, but Commencing asset they each had different mods that they needed. Son of a bitch. Alright, so cancel this. That wasn't really a great refund, considering that was like a $3 million T-Rex. So the T-Rex, I need tooth hardness, not bone density. So let's get in here. Well, at least I realized that before I actually made a new one. Where is Tooth Hardness? It's one of the attack genes, I suppose. And let's get rid of these other ones to bring the viability back up. And I need a Ceratosaur with aggressive instincts. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that Cerat. Well, I could probably just keep it actually and just put two of them in there. They get along with each other. So aggressive instincts. Yep, 
none of the things I needed. At least I got some Camarasaur. Why is there destruction going on here? Repair crew reporting in. Why are you Polacanthus so angry? Because the population is still too high. What is your population? Zero to six. Okay, so they can't go with anything. And I'm just gonna have to confirming task. Get rid of these jerk asses. Adding task. Well, this is going to be a mission fail if the Metriacanthus dies. Which I think it will, because the Stratosaur is, I think, tougher by default since it's slightly bigger. It's alright though, that mission was a bit of a, a mess. Dr. Wu's pushing the security division, and you need to push back by doing your job. Acknowledging asset collection request. Alright, so that sucked. But I kind of screwed up that mission anyway, so. These two are still going, so that's alright. I can just go in here, go to mission, go to start mission again. Get with it. We still need that new stock hatched and ready to go. So there's not really too much of a consequence when you fail a mission. These particular specimens will be for export and used on assignment. So they need to be the best we can create. Export? We're gonna sell them as military well, dinosaurs. Isn't that uh, just insanity? Don't they already have their hands full watching them on these islands? Asset collection request received. So let's get rid of these Polacanthus, because obviously Heading to collect the asset. they're not a good choice here. I like how the Gallimimus survived, though. These things didn't even try to chase it. I'm wondering... I don't think that a power station will fit here. It might. But kind of looks like it wouldn't. I don't know. I might be able to jam one in there. Let me squeeze a little more power out. Knock, knock. Who's there? New contract. That's it. Period. Cabot, you're kind of the worst. Asset in transit. Yeah, the problem is the stupid hill. Uh, even that might not be enough. Rain constraints obstructed. Yeah, I don't think I can wedge this in here at all. It's just a little bit too big. Alright, so that was uh, kind of a waste, but I needed to test it. Now I gotta try to find a place to put this thing again. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I am going to 
Just upgrade these. 10% risk of power outage, but outage protection is 45% reduced, so I should be able to do two improved outputs. Yeah, so that brings me up to 108. Asset requiring collection. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for Wait till the power comes back on. I'm also gonna wanna build another shelter. Can I fit one in here? station should be almost done then I'll release these two dinosaurs and then I think I will call it for the episode so that's our aggressive instinct ceratosaur See how its comfort is going down because they don't update until it comes out of the thing. Alright, so the Metricanthosaurus is the one with increased bone density, so that one I don't need to change. So let's get you going again. So the T-Rex looks really nice with the coastal skin, but again, you can't tell here because it's basically just a silhouette. But if you look on the, the moonlight side here, you can see it's kind of the, it's almost the color scheme of the Indoraptor, but it doesn't have the gold stripe. The goat just looking up like, ah, oh, fuck. It has a little bit of gold on the head, or is that just the lights? I think it does have a little bit. No, I can't quite get in there. Some of them you can kind of like clip into their mouths, but I think it's only the really big dinosaurs like the Brachiosaur. Okay. So all that's left is this Metriacanthosaurus. Which I would like to finish up with so we can end you the can episode. this contract, I can see good things in your future. If you fail, I see me in your future. Because he is not a good thing. At least he knows it. Um... Okay, all the meat, the needs are met for that place right now because there's nothing in there, so... Except this one Gallimimus that nobody wants to see. I guess they can't see it because it's not even close enough. Let's 
So we'll move the Ceratosaur like here. Send the ACU to try and get the T-Rex so she doesn't start a fight with the Metricanthosaurus when I release it. And he's probably going to make me sell these after I complete them all. Like, I assume that's what this mission is. Asset has been collected. Yeah, this park is proving to be definitely not my favorite. Again, like, it's it's difficult in the ways they intended it, it's just not very fun because of that. Because we're at a point in the game where I'm unlocking so many species that being constrained to what I can do is very limiting. But we have unlocked Sorna, so it's not like I can't jump between there and here. Park is going up in value, though. Not a very good reward, considering how much money I have to spend to get it. They adjusted some of the contracts when they did that patch, so that some of the ones that require you to make a dinosaur and stuff actually are worth doing, in terms of their monetary payout. So it's not like, oh, get 50000 for spending, you know, 500000 for one dinosaur. They actually kind of cover the costs of what you have to spend. Alright, so we're just about done with this episode. Just waiting on this Metria. Also, let's change our ranger skin to that blue jeep I unlocked. I would like to unlock the Jurassic Park one, but I'm going to have to build a sweet ramp somewhere. Maybe I can build one on Sworna. Before I start actually building the park, I'll just build a sweet hill and jump off of it. Since Sorna should be mostly flat space. Alright, here we go. Metriacanthosaurus, take two. Delivery complete. We told it's done its animation, so it counts as being released. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome a Metriacanthosaurus to the park. The way they always spot those goats when they come out. Oh, the goat's coming to meet him. He's curious. He's like, you don't look too scary. They stare intensely at one another. Metriacanthosaurus is like, can I eat you? I don't know. Let me try. Oh, right over to the unconscious T-Rex. Just taking a, a little bit of a, a water nap here. Dr. Wu's pushing the security division, and you need to push back by doing your job. What even happened there? It looked like the Metriacanthosaurus died by getting close to the T-Rex. Apparently, they can actually kill sleeping dinosaurs. Oh, that's a pain in the ass, because I don't have an extra- oh, this fence is still broken. I don't have an extra enclosure to put that guy in, so I might just need to make, like, a a temporary one. I, I could put a fence across the middle of this one and divide it into two for the moment. I just need them to be alive long enough for me to finish the mission. They don't have to stay comfortable. But we'll do that next time because, you know, we've already failed twice here. And this episode is already running along, so I've been Shadefire. This is Jurassic World Evolution, and next time we will complete this mission and definitely pop over to Sorna to see what's going on there as I continue to work on this island as well. But until then, take care, everyone.